Yo, what's happening out there, everybody? It's Roll Easy here, and I'm back with a second video today showing you guys how to get a free orbital cannon strike. Easy peasy glitch. This glitch was found by True GTA 5, one of my boys. We find glitches along with BMX. Now, all you're gonna need for this glitch is obviously a facility, the orbital cannon, and you need a friend just to launch up a job for you. That's it, all right? And you need the money to pay for the orbital cannon, but you're gonna get that money refunded once you do the glitch, all right? So super easy, super quick. Go into a session and just get ready to go. Now, as you can see by the gameplay, we're also gonna be mixing this in with Bruntango's new glitch where you can actually view the enemy that you're gonna be pulverizing with the orbital cannon, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna show you is how to just get the free orbital cannon strike. The second thing I'm gonna show you is how to combine both glitches together to make a super dope two and one awesome glitch, all right? So right now I just threw myself in any public session. I got a friend in the party, you know, he's going ahead and uh, when, he, when I'm ready to go, he's gonna go ahead and jump into a job, all right? So now I'm just gonna press right D-pad to enter the orbital cannon. And I'm gonna show you guys that those are the guys that I'm gonna be targeting. This one guy named King Caleb, okay? So select automatic targeting or manual, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna go automatic. Look at the top right, you see that money? That's the money in my bank after the deduction of the 750 Gs. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pick whoever, this guy King Caleb. Now, once I'm on this screen right here, you wanna be like ready to fire. This is where your friend, you know, is ready in the job for you. He's in Titan of a job. He's gonna go ahead and send me some invites. You can join him through the party, whichever way you prefer, all right? So soon, I'm gonna just go ahead and get the alert here. So I got the alert. Now I tell him to simply back out of the job, okay? We, we wanna get an unable to connect. So once he tells me he's back down on the ground, all I gotta do is accept this alert, and then I'm gonna get an unable to connect, and I just accept that next alert, all right? So there we go. I'm gonna accept that alert, unable to connect to session because he's already backed out of the job, and that's it, okay? Once you spawn back down, you can actually check your money and your money has been refunded already all right there you go look at the money in my bank my money has already been refunded before we even took the shot that's it so all you got to do now is just press right d-pad to enter the orbital cannon again all right so if you if you didn't look at you know the amount of money i had trust me just go back rewind the video and check the money was refunded back into my account after i spent it it came right back once i did that little part of the glitch super easy guys you see that so now I press right D-pad to enter back in. Make sure once you're back in here, you do not back out, okay? You see it puts us straight into the uh, the targeting place right here so I can go ahead and pick out whoever I wanna get. Now, what happened right there is the guy that I targeted, uh, he kinda disappeared, I guess, or something like that. It kinda glitched out, so I selected him again. I selected King Caleb once again, and then he keeps dying because he's in some sort of gunfight with these dudes. So. That's all that means when the black screen is coming along. Right there, it's following him. That's the automatic targeting working. It's going to go black here in a second as well because he gets killed once again. But once he gets killed after this one, then I select him again, and there we go. I'm going to actually go ahead and take the shot very shortly here. And that, guys, it's as simple as that, all right? Free orbital cannon strike just like that. So there we go. Three, two, one. Done, all right? That's it. That is all you got to do, guys. As you can see right there, I took him out easily and now you do have to wait for a cooldown but it's a free orbital cannon strike and you don't even have to leave session disconnect internet or quit the game nothing like that as you can see the money in my bank is just as it was when i first started the glitch as simple as that guys okay so now i'm going to show you guys how to actually combine this free orbital cannon strike along with viewing that enemy player that you will want to you know pulverize basically all right so we're going to go ahead and jump into this next part of the video right here okay so here we go we're going to do the free orbital cannon strike first okay that's the first thing you want to do when we're combining these glitches all right so just as we did before press right d-pad to enter go ahead and select automatic targeting i recommend automatic it's just it's a lot safer i mean it's for free also it's super easy just select anybody really doesn't matter who you select right now all right, so go ahead and just select one of the people on that list, and then you should start targeting them, and we're going to get to that screen real soon here. So there we go. Now is when your friend is in Titan of a job, and he's going to send you invites, or you just join through the party. I got the alert. Now this is what I'm telling him to just simply back out. So I told him, just back out of the job. Let me know when you're back down on the ground. All right, so he's getting back down on the ground. He let me know. I accepted that alert. I got the unable to connect, and then I accepted that alert as well. It's going to put me right back down in the orbital cannon room, and basically my money is refunded. Okay, just like that. So I haven't spent a thing, and I have a free orbital cannon strike waiting. All right, so now you want to go over to the strike team room. 
and we're gonna go ahead and do the strike team you know view players glitch that Bruntango found all right so here we go what you want to do is press right on the d-pad and then pause right after okay there you go right on the d-pad and pause so now what you want to do is go ahead and go and start up a rockstar created mission and listen right here Boom, you heard that? That was a little click. After I selected the Rockstar created mission, Titan of a Job, I just pressed A once in the in, on the white screen. That's all I did, I just pressed A once, okay? Now back out of the job, when you're there, you heard that click, I just pressed B once. That's all I did, okay? So that's circle on PlayStation. You wanna press B right when you get out of the computer, okay? So if you've done that correctly, you should be on this screen right here. If you wanna know how to run without selecting any of those things, Hover over observe target since it's grayed out, and then when you hover over that, all you gotta do is hold down A or X, and then push forward on your stick. That's it, and then you're fine. So go ahead and just run over to the orbital cannon strike room, and then you are good to go. As you can see, it already says it's active, you know? It's ready to go. So once you get close, go ahead and just keep, uh, keep hovering over strike team level one, the free one. Once you're hovering over that, you can press right D-pad to enter into the orbital cannon. Now, once we're at this point right here, what you want to go ahead and do is select strike team level one for free and then select anybody you want on the list. I'm just going to select the first person on the list right there. Now the screen sometimes goes black, it doesn't always. You want to just go ahead and press confirm right there, all right? So I just hit confirm on that little screen and then now click up once on the D-pad and go to observe target. Once we've done that, now we should actually be able to observe that specific target. Hopefully the guy's not going in and out of buildings or dying a lot because that can mess it up sometimes. And check it out. It's not messed up at all. Well, it is. We got a glitchy ass screen right here, uh, you know, with all the, um, all, basically we're spectating, you know, and we got a super glitchy screen with the entire lobby uh, listed right there while we're spectating this dude. And I checked and I can fire. So right now I'm just fast forwarding because he just kept flying around for a little bit. I wanted to make sure I made this shot count. So I waited for the perfect time to get him. And as you can see right there, uh, he screwed up. So I'm gonna go ahead and take him out right here. And just like that, guys, not only can you view the person that you're pulverizing, but you can also get it for free, all right? So once you end up at this screen, just press B twice, that'd be circle twice, and then you will get out of those two glitchy screens right away, and you'll actually spawn right back at the orbital cannon. So no money needed for that glitch at all. You know, you needed the money in the bank, but that's pretty much it. And then you were able to actually watch it all happen. Now I just included this clip last in the video, lastly in the video because this is something that can possibly happen when you select too many different players. Uh, you'll get 2D graphics and you actually can't shoot them while you have 2D graphics. The game is like super glitched out. So you will have to, you know, start all over again. That's okay though, just, you know, just literally back out of this and just begin the glitch over again. You won't lose any money or anything like that. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. That's going to be it for me, guys. My name is Roll Easy. Shout out to the founders, Chew GTA 5 for the first glitch and Bruntango for the second. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the Roll Easy channel if you're brand new. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 5,000. Well, 5,000. 5,000 plus 10,000. We're on the road to 15,000 subscribers. Let's get it, guys. Peace.